Hi guys, frequently I'm getting questions like how to upgrade from Gen Z Elevate or Gen Z to Gen Z Next. Let's clear this doubt quickly today and let's, let's understand the role of each profile, Gen Z, Gen Z Elevate or Gen Z Next. Means we'll discuss about the designation which you are going to get once you get into this company. But before starting, I have few announcement I'll cover it and then we'll go to this video. In the last few days, you have been hearing about re-level test. And some of you have already registered for the test as well. Guys, I have some exciting news for every one of you. Re-level has launched two new tests in the domain of business analyst role and data analyst role. You can see here. They have some amazing companies on board with package up to 22 LPA. So all you need to do, sign up on the platform today to check out all the companies like Red, Upgrade, Razorpay, Yatra, etc. Hiring from ReLevel. You can even try out the free sample paper to access your skills for the test. You just need 150 marks in the first phase to qualify for the second phase. You can download the brochure for any test, whatever you are going to take and they will be covering the detail syllabus of every test okay now after the second phase i'm just give you the brief info and a 700 plus score land you with interviews job opportunity and some amazing re-level swags and you know what there is a guaranteed package for more than 4 lpa for non-technical role and 6 lpa for tech role and there is no age or experience limit for eligibility if you are 18 plus you can attempt re-level test to get 50% hike for your next job in the best product based company. Registration is as simple as that. Just sign up, book a slot for yourself and you know what all round of tests will be completed in one day. That's the beauty of it. I'll provide all the details in the description box. So go ahead, check it out. Now let's proceed with this video. Now let's discuss about the different role in Cognizant and different profile role in Cognizant and how you can upgrade your role in this organization. So basically Cognizant is hiring for multiple roles. It, it, it is saying like it is hiring for Gen Z, Gen Z Elevate, Gen Z Pro, Gen Z Next, XYZ. But whatever these different kind of role is, there is only two de designation which you are going to get once you join Cognizant. One is for Gen Z next and that is associate. Now what is associate? We'll discuss about that. And if you are hired as a Gen Z or Gen Z um, elevate, then you will be getting designation PAT, Program Analyst Training. Now what are these kind of, what is the difference between an associate and Program Analyst Training or PA? We'll talk about that. So for that, we need to understand the hierarchy of designation in this organization. So hierarchy starts with, if you are hired as a fresher, then the first role the Cognizant will give to Gen Z people or Gen Z Elevate is PAT. Means all the freshers will be there as a PAT. And PAT will only be there for one year. Means by default, after one year, you will be converted to PA, that is Programmer, Program Analyst. And suppose if you are performing well, your role or designation will be keep on going up. Now, what is this hierarchy? Starting with the PAT, then PA, then Associate, then Senior Associate and then Manager level and up to the Manager level, we all know, right? Now. So here you are at a PAT level if you are a fresher and by default in one year you will be converted into PA. Now to become an associate from PAT it's not like a, uh, a jump. So if you are hired as a PAT you have to become first PA then A. And the Gen Z next people are getting directly hired as an associate level means two role above. That's why their package is, is also 6.5 or 6 LPA, right? And the Gen C people have 4.5 package. 
so after one year gen z people will become pa now you will be thinking then again after one year they will become associate then it's not true so now if you want to upgrade your profile or designation then you need to perform well you need to get good and top most rating now what is that what is rating rating is like a report card of your yearly performance so your manager or supervisor will be keep on checking out your performance throughout the year so make sure you are performing well try to show your over try to get a overachiever tag to get the highest rating in any organization i have shared few videos on how to grow your career in any organization and i have mentioned few important tips over there if you haven't seen that i will highly recommend you to please go ahead and check it out how i got promoted from pa to, to pa in one year and from pa to a in another 6 month so it was as i was hired as a orbit shifter and there was xyz criteria over there that i have discussed in detail in that video and you can check it out so you need to perform well to get into pa associate level now what is the performance level now as far as i know this organization has a rule like suppose if you are getting highest rating twice consequently in a consecutive years then you will be eligible for the promotion so if you are as a pa by default pa and you are getting the highest rating and again in another year you are getting the highest rating then after a uh, two or to two to three year you will become associate so hope i have cleared your doubt like there is nothing kind of there is no test required to convert you directly from gen c to gen c next apart from once you are hired as a gen c or once you are hired as a gen c next okay there is no such such kind of conversion in organization once you join as a pat there is no such exam to write to make you as a associate so all it all depends on your performance yearly performance so make sure once you join the organization you are performing well got it hope this video was informative to you if it was informative to you don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you guys thank you for watching